Hello and welcome back to Poker News. I'm here with the winner of the big one for one drop here at the WPT World Championship, Mikita Bajikowski. $7.1 million and unbelievably your first WPT live catch. How are you feeling now? Wow, yeah, uh, that's the good thing you pointed out. That's my first catch at, uh, at the win as well. So yeah, I'm feeling great. Amazing. We've spoken to so many poker players who love playing here and I mean you have 7.1 million reasons to come back. Yeah, I definitely will come back. I love this place. It's uh, one of the few my favorite place to play poker. I heard you say earlier that this was one of the most intense final tables that you played just because of the level of player and the fact that there was two spots that didn't make the money. How did that sort of play out in your mind leading into the final table and, and while you were playing? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I just uh, had to prepare and, you know, just to try to make sure that the money bubble factor wouldn't affect me too much. And uh, yeah, I hope it didn't. Um, yeah, so it was like, you know, the difference compared to other final tables that you usually come in, in knowing that you already won some money. And in this case, like you could uh, be ended up there, you know, losing the whole million. So yeah, that's, that's, that was like the difference. You're no stranger to seven-figure scores, but this is your biggest score to date. It moves you sixth on the all-time money list ahead of two players who are at this final table, Dan Smith and Isaac Haxton. Does that, do, do you keep track of those things or is this just you know, another day in the life for you? I mean, I, I'm checking them sometimes. Uh, I, I think they not very important just because like, uh, it doesn't really represent the real, like, you know, the ranking of the of, uh, of the poker poker players, so but it's it's still fun. It's fun, fun to follow. You're one of the strongest poker players in the world, and poker fans seeing you win this is, is no surprise. But again, it was a very small, very concentrated field. Was it tough out there? Was it a challenge? Yeah, it was a very tough tournament, and uh, you know we were playing with a 50, 15 seconds shot clock, so short-handed tables, deep deep stacks. So that was very intense. Like yeah, it was uh, felt really tired after day one and day two as well. The shot clock is obviously in play for, for a reason. Yesterday we saw Calvin Anderson win the Prime Championship without using a single time extension chip. It must be a bit different when you're playing for $7.1 million. Yeah, I was always on the slower side, so for me those time, time bank chips are useful, I would say. And it improves the quality of the game when you're playing, it, it, so you're not sat there looking at someone making a decision for three minutes? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I think shot clock is amazing. Um, I would, uh, in my opinion, 20 seconds pre-flop is the best, but yeah, we were playing 15 and it was intense, but yeah, it worked out. You're an incredible poker player, it's an incredible end of the year, congratulations once again. Okay, thank you.